What's going on guys, it's Hafo again, and uh, today i got a tutorial on uh, After Effects, and I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of Twixter, and uh, another plugin called Twitch, and uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys once again for the great response I've been getting on all my videos, and uh, quite good news, uh, I've just finally got Sony Vegas installed on my ruler's computer, so that means that I'll be able to do some um, Sony Vegas tutorials. Uh, I've got a nice colour correction uh, lined up and I've also got like a tutorial on how to sync your shots with the music so if you want to see them you need to just like the video and that'll uh, that'll make me know that you want it so okay let's start it that's what she said anyway um, basically I just got my clip uh, which is just this guy it's just me standing there I went into private match and I, it's just me reloading sorry my computer's going quite slow right now as you can see, it's just a reload clip. I added my uh, magic bullet looks, which I showed you guys yesterday. I added that. And, uh, yeah, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find where the, the reload starts. So I'm just going to click this drop-down list. Go on effects. And as you can see, it's just got the magic bullet looks. So I'm just going to drag in my... Uh, I'm going to type in in the preset and effects. I'm going to type in um, Twixter. And the one I'm going to be using today is Twixter Pro. Don't I don't really know what the difference is, but it just sounds better. <laughs> Something's Pro. And uh, you'll see it takes away the color correction, which is not what I want. You see, what you're going to want to do is just drag Twixter above the color correction. That brings it back. Really simple. And uh, this is one of the most important bits now. Before we actually do anything with the Twixter, you want to go on um, this little button here, which says Frame Blend. You're going to want to click that. And you're also going to want to go on um, its layer, and then you go to frame blending, and you're going to want to click pixel motion. Okay, now uh, you're going to want to go on your drop down for Twixter, which I have right here. Uh, if you don't have that, you just want to go into uh, your clip effects and Twixter Pro, and then uh, you're going to want to go onto your source control, change the input frame rate to 59.94. And that, as you can see, it got rid of a few uh, little mistakes on there. And then you're going to want to go to your output control. Now, this is where all the speed stuff is done. About, like, the slow motion. So I'm going to want to find where my reload is. And I think the best place to do this is when the uh, the magazine's gone off the screen. As you can see, there's nothing on there but the gun. Uh, it's going to go back a frame. Then, where, where it says the uh, speed... With the 100%, you're going to click the little um, stopwatch, set a keyframe. Then you're going to go forward a frame. And as you can see, it's set a marker. And you're going to change this speed to 5%. And uh, then, as you will see when I drag through, it takes quite a while to reload. So I'm going to put stop it there, I think. Uh, yeah. Go on to my. Click this little um, keyframe thing here, this little diamond. Go forward another frame. And change it back to 100. So, as you will see now, what it's done is it's had a nice reload, a nice little slow motion, and then uh, the hands come back on. And it just continues in normal speed. And that's all great, but it might be a bit plain boring. And uh, you're gonna want to mess around with the positioning of the uh, of the reload and no, the Twixter. I mean, I think that looks pretty all right. There may be a few mistakes, but as I say, I'm doing it quickly. Um, so now what we're gonna want to do is go on Twitch, which is also a plugin which you can get. Uh, and as you can see, it's a video copilot one. So it's gonna drag that on. And uh, then we're going to want to go to where our Twixter starts, which is here. And uh, where it is amount, we're going to change that to zero, because we don't want it to start yet until the Twixter is started, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, then we're going to go to our t like the first frame of our Twixter, which is here, and change our amount to 100%. And uh, at the moment, we haven't actually set any, I don't think. Now, we haven't set any Twitch, so it won't be doing anything. And that, because I just want to insert the keyframes first. 
uh, yeah and then go back to your twitch go amount click the little diamond and uh, across one frame and change it back to zero and uh, on the preview I think I showed you the ones I clicked were slide scale no scale slide and time I believe and when we slide through this you will see like as little sh it like shakes the screen like that you may want to turn it down a bit so it's not as vigorous but as a, it looks pretty sick if you can get it right with like the right song and uh, yeah it's pretty much it it's pretty easy to do but and also there's a lot of presets here you can choose so like I quite like bad distortion I think that's quite a good one I click that I ah, know it's it reset it, but so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to rest when you're starting it off your Twitch, you would click bad distortion and it does like the little colours and stuff. But you'd obviously need to keyframe that because that's going through the whole way at the moment. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Um, if have any if you have any questions on this, let me know and I'll answer them. Uh, also, yeah, I'm gonna be starting. Vegas tutorials so if you're interested uh, stay subscribed and uh, yeah thanks guys